Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I got this deep purple vampy makeup look. If you would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. I filled in my eyebrows with a dip brow pomade from ABH in the shade Ebony. And now I'm just going to set them with powder. I did fill in the rest of my eyebrows off of camera and I've also already moisturized and primed my face just in case you guys were wondering why I just started with filling in my brows. And this is what the eyebrows look like when they are done. With the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer, I'm just going to clean up the brows. With this brush, I'm just going to be blending the concealer. Now I'm just going to keep blending the product. I'm going to put it all the way into my inner corner. I'm just going to outline the brow, bring the product all the way into the tail of the brow, and then just blend all the way down into the lid because that's going to be our eyeshadow base as well. I'm going to use the Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to pick up this vanilla shade. Now I'm just going to set the lid with that shade. I am only going to use it on the lid. I am not going to go on to my brow bone because I just like to add the highlight with nothing underneath. With a clean brush, I'm just going to be blending the product a little bit more. That way there is a very clean base. With a pointed blending brush, I'm just going to be picking up the third shade from the palette and I'm going to be applying that all over my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. I'm just going to be picking up the same shade going back into the crease, that way I get the intensity that I want. A smaller more precise brush I am going to be picking up a darker shade and I am going to apply that in the crease I went in with a vanilla and then the brownish one now I'm going in with the mauve purpley one and I am just gonna go in and apply that to the crease and I am applying that lower than I applied the first shade I'm just gonna go back in with the same shade and I'm just gonna keep blending and blending until my hand falls off. that was anyways I am here still blending away now with the same brush that I used in the very beginning which is this one I am going to be blending the two shades together that way they come together as one
with an even smaller brush i am just going to pick up the darkest purple in the palette and i'm just going to be applying that in the outer v of the eye okay so the brush i was using to pack on the shade wasn't working for me so i just picked up a flat packing brush and with the same purple i am just going in the outer v And here I am still blending away because blending is the key to every makeup look. Using the same big fluffy brush that I used to apply the transition shade, I am just going to use it again to blend everything together. With a detailed more precise pencil brush, I am just going in with the same dark purple that I used for the outer V. I'm just going to bring it in closer to my inner corner, that way it creates a soft cut crease. And I'm just going to be using the same fluffy brush and blending away. And then I'm going to pick up another fluffy brush and blending away, that way there's nothing too harsh about it. Using a clean makeup wipe, I am just going to be cleaning out the edges and any fallout. I am going to be highlighting under the brow with the second shade in the palette. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm going to be applying mascara and get them ready for some lashes. Before I apply the lashes, I'm just going to be picking up the shimmery purple shade from the Tarte Pro 2 Go palette and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid because I felt like it was missing something and I wanted more purple with this look so that is what I'm doing right now. And this is what the eyes look like when they are done and this is what the eyes look like with lashes on very pretty using the makeup forever ultra hd foundation i am just going to be applying that with the beauty blender and i got some on my finger that's why you see me putting foundation with my finger on my face because you know a bitch is not gonna waste foundation because this foundation is pretty fucking expensive and i don't got no fucking money now i'm going to be highlighting with the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade medium and i'm just going to go under the eyes kind of like a triangle-y shape and i'm just going to put that on my forehead on my chin and i on the bridge of my nose as well and I am just going to be blending that out with a beauty blender. ABH contour kit I'm gonna be picking up the vanilla shade and the pinky whitish shade to set the under eyes I'm basically gonna be putting this powder everywhere I use the concealer I'm gonna put that on my forehead underneath my eyes on my chin down the bridge of my nose and yeah
going to be using this angled brush to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm going to go in with the purple that we used over the lid and I am just gonna go in with it and I'm just gonna put it very very low because I want that purple to pop and I want it to show and I want it to be purple and pretty and just I just want it to be very very purple and I just want that purple to pop out With a smaller angled brush, I'm going to be picking up another purple shade and this is from the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette and I'm just going to be tucking that in underneath my lash line but closer to the lash line, that way it gives the eyes some more definition. Now using the ABH contour kit, I'm going to be dipping into all three shades to bronze up the skin. I'm going to go on the sides of my cheek, on the temples of my forehead, on the sides of my nose, underneath my neck to cover up that double chin because a bitch hates looking like a fucking frog, like a fucking toad. We gotta look fucking snatched. With a contour brush I am just picking up the same three shades and using that brush to further kind of bronze up contour the skin that way we look even more snatched and I just put that on the backs of my cheeks and I know it looks a little bit dark and muddy but don't worry I'm gonna be picking up the bronzing brush that way I just blend everything away and there are no harsh lines You see, I'm about to pick up that bronzing brush and just blend everything together because blending is key. Blending is fucking key. Just blend away. With the same contour brush that I used on the cheeks, I'm just going to be using that to contour my nose and I am not adding any extra product. I am just using whatever's left. That way I don't get any harsh lines and it's just a soft nose contour. With a clean brush, I'm just going to be blending the contour away just in case there is harsh lines. This is just going to make sure we really don't have anything too extra going on. Going in with a blush from Tarte in the shade Parte, I am just going to put that on my cheeks and I think I went a little heavy on the blush because I did not know this shit was fucking pigmented. So I'm just gonna use another brush to blend it away because a bitch's cheeks are looking a little too pink and I'm starting to look like a fucking clown. Now it's time for highlight. I'm just spraying my brush and I'm going to use the Becca highlighting powder in opal and I'm just going to place that on the tops of my cheeks and I'm just going to pat it. I'm not going to swipe because the brush is wet and I don't like swiping because I think it creates like a very harsh line and it looks like a little just stripe on your face. So I just pat the product onto my face. I'm going to spray the brush again and I'm just going to highlight the other cheek and I am just going to connect it with a brow highlight. I am going to highlight my cupid's bow, my chin, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, on top of my brow. Just basically everywhere because a bitch likes to fucking glow and I'm sorry the mirror is in the way. I did not notice. to be picking up the contour brush just to go over my nose contour a little bit because I think I added too much highlight on the nose and I don't want it to look a little crazy and I'm just gonna keep highlighting my forehead 
and now I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush that way I just connect everything together and it looks pretty and this is what the glow looks like now time for some setting spray and this is by Mario Badescu I think I'm saying it right I don't know don't fuck with me using the ABH glow kit I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner with purple horseshoe I am going to now line my lips with the shade Cyberworld, I believe, and it's from MAC. And now for the lips, I am going to be using Evil Twin by Too Faced, and this is like my favorite shade ever in the world of ever. I love this color and like. I'm in love with it. That's it guys. This is the final makeup look. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.